What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be doing yet another Hidden Fates opening. We're going to open five more tins that we picked up from Black Friday. Uh, still the best deal ever, in my opinion. $10 per tin. That's $2.50 uh, $2 per pack, which is great. Um, but stay tuned. At the end of the video, we're actually going to be going through the binder where I kind of have my uh, working on that master set. Uh, basically, we're going to start with go through all the GXs and shinies that we we picked up so far. Uh, there have been some. There are some gaps in our collection that we've actually pulled on the channel but because of like uh trades trades i do during like league and stuff um they're you know they i need to pull another one so uh stay tuned to the end of the video for that and let's get going all right we're about ready to begin we have some code cards along with all the promos in the background and most important of all we have a whole bunch of hidden fates booster packs 20 more cracks at completing our master sets. I feel like the biggest, actually, I think we need, we traded a couple of our gold cards away for the, the Tapu. I think we need another Tapu Coco, and we're also missing still a good number of the full art supporters. So those, those are going to be the stuff that we're looking for. And starting with our first pack, we have Psyduck, Clefairy. Magic Carp. Ooh, full art birds. That's a good way to start any opening. Wow, and then a shiny Rowlet. You know, as far as let's take a look at what kind. This is the super glossy one. Let's see if we can, yeah, you can kind of tell right there. And we have a full this is a loaded pack, and man, we pulled so many Rowlets. It's very, very interesting. We're gonna sleep everything at the end of the video. So one pack, two hits. Alright, we're off to great ratio. Off to the races and uh Let's see, there are two fighting sh regular shinies that we're missing. I think one of them is a buzzwall. It's weird because like the other one, I cannot think of off the top of my head who is the last one that we're missing. But pretty sure it's a fighting type based on where it's in the order of in our binder collection. We have Electrode. Oh, Galissapod GX. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a great opening, guys. We're only two packs in. We have three hits and our first shiny GX in Galizapod. This is one of the ones I do like. Obviously, there are some that are more welcome to see than others. And Galizapod is one that I do enjoy encountering. Not the best shiny pattern, but uh, I do like it. Kind of, it reminds me very much of the Metagross. All right, let's see. Brock, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Coughing, a Staryu, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, a Lapras, the boring Lapras card, and Caterpie. So our first no-hit pack. That's okay. For kind of like the... Sorry for all the background noise. For our first ten, uh, first ten worth of packs, we already have three hits. All right, Scyther, Charmeleon, Metapod, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Charmander, a Pikachu, Voltorb, a Zapdos is our rare, and then oh, is that another? Oh no, last time was a Caterpie. All right, so first ten, three hits, very good way to start this opening. Let's move on to our second ten. Hope everyone's having a good day and uh, hope everyone's gearing up for the holidays and uh, how's everyone doing with their the sh holiday shopping that they need to do. There's a couple of things that I still have left to pick up or order. Not a last minute shopper, more kind of like a last week <laughs> kind of shopper. Our right, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, although I will say like I feel like the uh, you know, the end of the month is sneaking on, um, sneaking up on me at least very quickly. And a reverse energy, we will take it. To go with that Misty's Water Command. As always, you guys do want to support the I Want a Turtle TCG channel. You can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And if you're not already a sub, be sure to hit that sub button bell for notifications. It's basically tell you whenever we upload a video, which is every single day. We also do streaming Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We stream PTCGO. And we got a full art Jesse and James. Man, 
Like, we pulled so many of these, and wow, another another really good pack was Zerga Tree Shiny, pretty off center, and Jesse and James. Do wish we could convert some of these uh, Jesse and James uh, pulls to full art supporters, the Shiny Fault full art supporters, but once again, uh, doing very well on the ratio side. You guys know I'm very big about pull ratios. Like to try to maintain a 50% plus ratio, and so far we are killing it. I feel like all the tins from the Target Black Friday sale, so far I feel like the pull rates have been really good from them. No, uh, not many kind of like home run hits, but uh, Scyther, there we go, that's another good shiny. Nice green. Um, it's cool that the, the scissor is green. Less cool that the Scyther is just like a lighter shade of green. I feel like maybe if they swapped it where the Scyther was red and then the Scissor was green, that would have been really cool. So none of those are the ones that we are looking for as far as the gaps in our collection. Although to be honest, it's, it's one of those situations where maybe you guys encounter this where you look at a set so frequently, but then when you need to f pick out which one is missing, even if you've had it before, but then you trade it away, it's difficult to point out the gaps. Golem and then a Weezing, so nothing there. Alright, let's keep going. Got a Dark Energy. Sabrina. Background's falling apart. Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, a Charmander, Jesse and James, just regular foil, and then a Graveler Reverse. I will say that the kind of like holiday deals, I feel like there have not been too many after Black Friday, or at least none of them come close to the kind of like the amount that you can save compared to black friday cyber weekend monday <laughs> while target did have like you know that thing where you spend a hundred dollars you save 25 which is pretty good you know basically 25 percent off uh, outside of that nothing really jumped out at me across other vendors as well all right so i feel like we finally hit a bit of a lull in pulls so hopefully we can uh, kind of start getting some good cards again. Jinx, it's not it. <laughs> Joy, Metapod, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Clefable is our rare, and then a Golem. I feel like, well, last time we pulled a Gravel, I feel like we pulled, uh, I think it was just a regular Golem. So hope everyone is looking forward to the holidays and uh, get to spend time with friends and family. I think I'll be spending some time back in upstate New York where I'm from and uh, gonna work to make sure that I, I probably won't be able to do recordings during any time but I'll try to make sure that we do have videos kind of lined up for during that time for everyone. Ooh, Quagsire, this is one of the regular shinies that I'm well, very happy to see as many as we can. This one is super off-center. It's weird because the front is a lot more off-center than the back. I always find it interesting. I feel like I haven't pulled a super miscut one to a point where you see like the border of a different card. That'd be pretty cool though. And uh, obviously the card we're looking for the most is that shiny Charizard. Although the price continues to go down. Uh, if you haven't seen our last market video, definitely recommend you check it out. Dropped yesterday. And uh, yeah, hit that $200 mark. The question is, will it stay there? Will it continue to go down? My bet is it'll stay there for quite some time. And the Quagsire. What do you need for Quagsire? You need the Wooper. I do really like the Wooper. Wooper is becoming one of my, um, not favorite Pokemon, but one of the ones I really like. He just always looks so happy. I feel like his representation in Pokemon Go is a perfect example of that. 
And uh, actually, yeah, Pokemon Go was recently Community Day. Hope everyone that plays Pokemon Go was able to go outside and uh, hopefully it wasn't too cold. Just today was kind of cold for me. And get some good amount of shinies. I was pretty happy with the haul that I had. The only thing I was hoping for, I was hoping for a shiny Mudkip, but it didn't come out with one. Got most of the other shinies I was looking for. I missed the Trap Inch community today and managed to get three of those, so I was happy with that. And they're pretty high level too. Not that uh, Flygon is a super important Pokemon for anything. But uh, I've actually been trying to beat those Rocket bosses. Man, that is super difficult. I'm on the one, I don't remember his name, but uh, when I tried it, his first Pokemon was a Scyther, and that thing attacks so fast, was using its charge move. It would use like three of them before I could get off one. It was very difficult, so maybe that was just uh, some bad RNG, so I gave up, and mostly because I was very cold. <laughs> and didn't really want to think about the correct counters. Uh, but I felt like it would take a while, just because I wasn't even... I took I was struggling to get past the first Pokemon let alone the second two but uh, then I believe after that then you finally face the Giovanni to pick up a Zapdos and Charizard always a good pickup right there uh, then just a Jigglypuff so I feel like we've definitely slowed down all right we are on to our last tin so that was um, four tins worth let's just do a quick checkpoint we got one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits across 16. Actually, that's still really good. So as long as we can uh, do okay on this one, we will consider this a very successful opening. All right, Magmar, Charmeleon, Jinx, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, a wheezing, and then just a far fetched. Three packs remaining. And if you've just discovered us, this channel, um, definitely hope you consider subscribing. We do videos every single day, and we do a good amount of other contents like some other TCGs, occasionally do like Yu Gi Oh! Magic the Gathering. Uh, but primarily it's Pokemon content. We'll do some competitive stuff, and that's basically what all of our streams are. Uh, we'll do market analysis and stuff like that. So tons of good content. So yeah, hope you consider subscribing. Bell for notifications and two packs remaining. Man, things we started off super well and then gone ice cold. Come on, let's let's finish off strong. We have two packs left. Get something good here and then maybe a double whammy on the last one. Hoping, always hoping for like one gold slash full art supporter. Just to, because those are, will be obviously the toughest ones to fill in all the gaps. Ooh, Shiny Wimpod, nice to go with our Glissapod that we picked up earlier. This is one of the cooler Shinies too. I just like the, kind of like the silver and red. Kind of nice contrast. And no, this is neither the glossy nor the textured one. And okay, final pack, Mewtwo. Oh, it's been a while since we pulled a Mewtwo. Wouldn't mind that. Can we get some last pack magic as always guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support um i feel like we are continuing to climb our sub counts and uh man one day if we ever hit that thousand that would be absolutely amazing but so thank you all for all the support you have given the channel and greatly appreciate that for our last pack we have coughing star you right you gx sure we'll take it um, i think this has turned out to be a sufficient opening but we have still one more card left as always guys thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle oh buzzwall this might be one of the ones we needed i think we need both buzzwalls and there we go um reminder we're going to go through see how we're progressing with our master collection in a little bit but uh yeah guys thanks for watching Ooh, buzzwall all right so let's take a look at our how we're doing for the master set um, this is a Dex Protection Binder. These are really good, but every once in a while, um, you make the mistake of, let's say you misordered the set, and then compared to if you have like the sleeves, 
um, like the binder that you can just take them out. Basically, at one point I realized that things were off by one. I had basically had to move all the cards over. So this first part is basically the GX's, non, non shiny GX's, uh, Jesse and James supporter birds, and all the promos. So obviously we're good there. But then moving on to the shiny vault. So this is where it gets a little bit harder. And uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Basically we have one section that we're missing, which is the tail end of the fighting section. So I believe it's Buzzwall, Zorua, and then Guzzlord. And I'm pretty sure I pulled the Zorua and Guzzlord, but I traded them away. But then for the rest of the non-GX Shinies, we do have all of them. And so let's see if we can get this right. Alright, Leafeon, we are missing. And then uh, we do we have pulled the Charizard, but I don't keep it in here. Turtonator, kind of surprising. We I'm not sure we've ever pulled a Turtonator yet, which is a little disappointing. And then we have Articuno, which we have pulled, but we traded away. And let's see, Frogadier, no Greninja. And uh, this one is actually Mewtwo, another one that we've definitely pulled. Nihilego and Naganadal. I think these two we also pulled. And then Lucario, same story for that. So I feel like I pulled most of them. Let's see, what's before Dark Rye? Oh, Umbreon. We actually did pull Umbreon, but it did look like it's good condition. So I have it in a card saver, potentially be sent to PSA. And moving towards the end, let's see, after Altar is Noivern. So don't think we pulled a Noivern. But then for our false art supporters, actually not too bad. We have Cynthia, which we did pull, but it's in a card saver as well. Fisherman, which is kind of surprising. I feel like I pulled many Fishermans in the other sets, like the Japanese set, Korean set. Uh, but just the English one that seems to be eluding us, because when we have Hiker Lady, and then Aether Paradise, I believe this is Brooklyn Hill, uh, Mount Cornet, and then Shrine of Punishment we do need. And this is the actually the only Bulu we currently have. Um, so we still need the Coco, Fini, and Lele. And then that'll be the end of the set, and this is actually moving into Cosmic Eclipse. So, you know, we still have a good amount of gold cards and a few shiny GXs, a few non-shiny GXs to, to get. So we're going to keep cracking at this. I think it would be amazing if we could get all the entire Master Set by just pulling cards, even though we pulled some of them, but we traded them away. So we kind of have to... Uh, catch up in that regard so um yeah that's where our progress in the master set uh but yeah thanks for watching guys as always like comment and subscribe all down below i'm wanted turtle and i'll catch you guys next time